Thank you all for attending this session this afternoon. My name is Frank Begay. I'm the first vice district governor for District 19E. And this class we're going to address conflict management. And while it's a given that you cannot suppress conflict entirely, there are some steps you can take to minimize the damage that the conflict can do within your club or within your relationships. Our objectives will be learning the essential steps for conflict management, finding out what it is you can do, helping you recognize what takes place in conflict and what causes some conflicts, personal styles of dealing with conflict, the importance of consensus. The more you can involve people all on the same train, so to speak, the better off you will be in the long run. Conflict in a team, and we just finished talking about uh, a project and we had a, a chair, a committee chair. Sometimes they don't all see the end result the same way. Conflict samples, your turn. That means you can raise your hand and I'll ask you which particular item of conflict <coughs> are you going to talk about. The biggest conflict that I can think of is our dinner. Uh, and we tried to make it known to our members that the facility that is fixing our dinner are not making any money on the dinner. They raised the price a dollar and a half from what it was last year to this year. And it's a, trying to explain to them that it's a break even deal. You know, I mean, they want us there. We've had our meeting there for 40 years. And I'm still hearing about it, so I don't know how. I, you know, I've tried to explain to two of them that uh, this is a business and they're trying to make money and they're offering us a dinner at cost. So how do you handle that? Okay, hopefully uh, during this presentation I'll give you some more tools to help you work with that issue and that situation. I think the biggest thing I could say is that you know, <coughs> it, we've always done it this way. Or somebody will stand up and say, that's in the bylaws or this is in the book. Well, nobody, nobody's ever read this in the book. So either you have to call them out on it or tell them they're full of baloney or tell them that, you know, sometimes it just turns into a fight or, you know, further argument. You know, I don't remember it that way. Well, I do remember it this way. Well, here's how we did it last year. <coughs> so that'll go back and forth and, you know, waste time and it's not productive. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Marge? Yes, in our club, that uh, some of the older members that have been in our club for many years, we've always <coughs> done it a certain way. We try to bring in new ideas, as in, well, we try it that way, it doesn't work. The conflict is they don't want to try something new. Maybe it'll work and maybe it won't, but it's a learning experience. So ours is trying something new, okay. and that's a conflict. All right, thank you. So. What if what I would like to give an example of members that sort of have a history of running off new members, and that's kind of a conflict mm -hmm. recurring. Mm -hmm. And um, so, if you could help us with that, that would be. Okay. How do you how do you confront that person? You know, without. Okay. You do, you know? And once again, we're we're going to explore some options here on how to uh, make the issue of conflict less of a problem. Yes, sir. We've had a conflict in our club. Uh, we have a new treasurer. This is her second year. And uh, when she was taught how to do the bookkeeping, mm -hmm. she was taught incorrectly. And we have some members in our club that have been with the club for 25 years or longer that have gone through the ranks and things. And there's been a huge conflict about how to do it correctly and the refusal to do it the right way. Uh, and it has not turned out well at all. Yeah. Well, let's dive in and see what we can figure out. Okay. Um, take a guess. Somebody take a guess here. One says my cattle, the other says my land. Who's right? Who's wrong? They're both right. They're both right and what? Both wrong. And they're both wrong. <laughs> Accommodating, that's a form of dealing with conflict. What does accommodating suggest? 
accommodating suggests that you'll say yes just to make it go away. That's accommodating. Avoidance is <coughs> that's the no as denial. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Compromising. A maybe. Okay. Uh, is compromising all good? Okay, <laughs> but is it all bad as well? No. Yeah. No. It's, n it's not always all good, not always all bad, but sometimes it works. Collaborating. This requires a lot of effort, but if you can figure out a scheme that says yes to both sides, that is collaborating and that is to the benefit of everybody concerned. Competing. I don't know why they put that on the bottom. Maybe it's alphabetical, but uh, that should have been right up there on top. Is yes. you know, this side wants it this way, and this side wants it this way, and that sounds kind of like what you were discussing. Okay, small group discussions, and do we have a handout for this part? Conflict management. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. Okay. Okay. What is good and bad about each particular style that they outlined? And what is your style? Competing, <coughs> collaborating, compromising, avoiding, and accommodating. And they very nicely put compromising in the middle because that's the center of the stage for now. What might be some ground rules we should set if we're going to be down, if we're going to be setting up and trying to deal with an argument or a confrontation? No punching, kicking, spitting, or biting. <laughs> Especially no, no biting, nice. huh? No guns are nice. No guns are nice. Okay, so you have to have a set of rules when you start. I would say maybe the top of the list is no yelling and no finger pointing. Ask questions. Find out the, to the best of your ability what is the real issue that we're re trying to resolve <coughs> here. Is it just a personality conflict or is it something more deeply seated? Analyze expectations. How much effort do you want to put into this <coughs> conflict resolution? How much time do you want to spend on it? And what is your anticipated response? Be open to different perspectives. Not always right, not always wrong. Sometimes that different perspective attitude, which will also align with compromising, might get things settled much more quickly. Okay. Conflict is natural, dealing with it, emotional triggers, preventing escalations. Once again, if you lay the ground rules down, you already have a foot in the door of keeping people from getting too, um, too argumentative, too virulent. Alternatives, other suggestions or other solutions that you hadn't thought about or that somebody hadn't brought up yet. Stay calm. Do not let yourself, as the person trying to settle this, get personally involved with either side. Work in the present tense, but think about the future tense. We're trying to settle this argument for this particular situation, but is that situation going to come back again in two or three years when somebody else takes over that position? So what might be a suggestion for that? If you if you come up with a resolution or a solution to that conflict, is it something that needs to be made note of? Maybe somebody needs to keep a history of the conversations that took place and the and the decisions that took place. Okay, group activity, team scenarios, 
each table please pick out we only have three to choose from and we have four tables but please choose a scenario and, and put your heads together and read over what is involved develop an agreeable solution and then one of you speak up for the group So have we released a solution here? Yeah, we're waiting for the alignment. Got it decided? All righty. Okay, when you have a solution, please raise your hand so I'll know. When you have a solution, oh, you're done? You're ready to go? Okay, all right. All right, uh, anybody want to volunteer to lead off the parade? Okay, Raymond, come on up. Okay, so our group chose the third. We asked them uh, to, if they had specific complaints, to, uh, to write those down and present them to the board because um, I, think, I think narrowing and focusing somebody's complaint is, um, first of all, it makes them do a little bit of work, which a lot of times they're not willing to do. They just want to sit and complain. Mm -hmm. um, but if, there, if there's something specific and you get them to put it in writing, then, then we can kind of formalize the process a little bit and say, here's, here, here's what we're trying to address. And, and that way, by narrowing it and formalizing it, it'll, it'll put a more structure to it so that if it is something that's addressable, that we can. And if it's not, then maybe they won't even do it. Okay. And if you look at the slide behind you, which of those particular models did you just model after? Um, well, I think we were, I think we were compromising, but, mm -hmm. but we were also setting boundaries with them too. Okay. I think, so I, I think that there's, it, it, there, there's, we came up with a couple of different things that need to happen and they fit a little bit different areas in there, but the, um, we, I guess you'd say it's sort of compromising, but also we're not accommodating them. I mean, if they're if they're being if they're mm -hmm. being disruptive, I think we're we're trying to set up a boundary. And and you're not avoiding because we're you're addressing avoiding. it. Right, we're addressing it. And you're not competing. Correct. Because you're giving them a suggested out or a suggested right. path to take. Okay. Thank you, Raymond. Very good. <laughs> Next, Howard. Are you guys in the same club? <laughs> so our, uh, our group thought that we should have some open uh, discussions at a, at a meeting with a flip chart and start kicking out ideas, especially the ones that the, that the uh, older members are critical of. Write them down, say we're spitballing there, there's no bad ideas, there's no bad people, there's just ideas. And then, you know, you can put a name next to the idea, you can say, we want some input on that, if we've tried that before and it didn't fail, uh, you know, you older member, please tell me. Please tell me, don't tell me why it didn't fail. What can we do to adjust that? And when you ask about what we were doing, I think we were trying to collaborate because we are trying to get the, the board members to see that they're not the only ones that know everything, or the older members aren't the only ones that know everything. People have ideas and they can't be afraid to say their ideas because they might get shot down by old, old uh, Harry over there yelling at them. That's kind of where I think we were. All right. Thank you, Howard. Team? We picked number two, which says you're a member of a mixed club of 35 members and you are aware of a sexual conduct complaint 
that you are being asked for your opinion as the matter has escalated past the club level. So we made some assumptions based on the problem that escalated above the club level would be either civil court or criminal court, okay? And of course the nature of the complaint. But being asked what my opinion is, I would thank them for being concerned about the situation, but I would decline to answer the question for these reasons. It's being handled by other people that are authorized to deal with it, first. Secondly, I don't have all the facts. I don't, so I can't make an informed judgment because I don't have all the facts. There's two sides to every story. The third thing, I would reinforce club unity by not encouraging that we talk about this because that can be gossip and that can be detrimental. And uh, there's no benefit to discussing it among members because it really doesn't change the outcome of the situation. And respect for the people involved is important because if this is settled, we don't know how it could be settled, there's going to be people in the club that were engaged in it and we need to have respect for both. We can't choose sides. Okay, now would it change your opinion at all if it was you were later learned that it was not sent to any court uh, legislation or court level, but was merely sent up the chain of command within the lions. Would that make a difference? No, then I would say that the lions are handling it okay. at a higher level. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any comments from the deck floor? There goes my knee leg again. Oh. Hey, brother. You're a member of a club of 45 members, 50 50 female and male, ranging 40 to 85. They're a very senior lion who controls and knows everything that is done. One statement this lion states they want to shed some of the workload, and when someone volunteers, the senior lion will not give up the workload. The senior lion, in conjunction with the club president, who is male, have no time for women holding any position of authority. They make it very uncomfortable for everyone. The senior lion brings forward ideas that he has committed the club to without consultation of the club members and reluctant to cha challenge because of his position. What would you do? Well, we decided we had probably kind of three options. One was to desert, mutiny, or pull them aside and start to have a conversation with the club president and the senior member about um, their attitude and the way they conduct themselves <coughs> within the club and how it is affecting the health of the club. Um, not respecting women, 50% of the club are female and that could really detriment the club's health. So if he wasn't, didn't respond to us pulling them aside and, and having a conversation and describing why it could be so hurtful to the club and to the members of the club, we decided that perhaps maybe the board could collaborate and remove that particular member or um, remove the president so that there would be some sort of action of letting them know that that just isn't the way that a healthy club runs. Yeah. Okay, and what particular method of? So I, I think we did some collaborating. Mm -hmm. I think we did some compromising. Um, and avoiding when we have to dissent. Like we are avoiding the problems we dissent. We didn't avoid the problem. No. We confronted him. We confronted, oh. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Team. Anybody have any questions? Thank you very much for your participation. And uh, this session is over. Go ahead and fill out your evaluation sheets. And then let's take a short break.